Hi, my name is Adrian Simmons, and I'm the Chief Creative Designer here at Element CPA, where we help entrepreneurs to design their business and their finances. And I'm joined today by Mike Mekalargi, a tax and accounting designer on our team. And what we'd like to do today is share with you a couple stories of businesses and entrepreneurs we've worked with over this last year, helping them to deploy different financial technology solutions in their business to make their life easier. Uh, for us, a tech-enabled finances is one of the three main pillars we help entrepreneurs with. Uh, the other one is to help them design a clarified path with business coaching and CFO advice to help empower their business. And the third pillar is to help them design an optimized tax, which is tax planning and preparation to save taxes and to make their life easier. But today we wanted to focus on the tech-enabled finances part of that. So. Um, uh, Mike's been a big part of bringing a, lot, a number of these systems live for our customers, so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to do that. So why don't we go ahead and dive right in and hear some of those stories. So we have three for you today. Um, the first one is for a contractor business who actually about a year ago started working with us and came to us to help them uh, bring their business finances to life. And they hadn't really been on a cloud accounting platform before, so it was a new thing to them. And, um, but we were able to sort of step them through that process, get up and running, and really bring them to a new point. Here we are like basically 12 months later. So can you tell us a little bit about the, their story, sort of what they were experiencing, what we were able to do, and sort of how things work now? Well, prior to Zero, they were not on any particular accounting system, uh, keeping track of their expenses of income manually. So as you can imagine, their records were stored in many different places and that made it impossible for, for them to get a complete picture of their finances. Yeah. Getting onto zero not only allowed them to have all their ledgers in one place yep. that they can access anywhere, which is particularly important for them as they are often on job sites, yep. but it also increased their accuracy because they were having their bank feeds automated yeah. into zero, and all they need to do is just reconcile the bank statements to the transactions that they've already entered. Yeah, absolutely. And, and part of that, um, zero for those who may not be familiar, is an online accounting platform. It's really the heart of all the designs that we roll out with customers, and it's based in the cloud. So it means that anytime, anywhere, as Mike was saying, that um, the customer can log in, we can log in to help troubleshoot things, and it connects those automated bank feeds to flow transactions uh, independently into the system so that they can even be auto-categorized. And it can take a situation like you described where maybe there's multiple systems, multiple sources of data, you really can't ever get a complete picture of what's going on, and just sort of pulls them all together into one place to simplify things. So. Um, as they turn the corner, you know, into this next 12-month period, they're now much better positioned to yes. sort of see where they stand, make the decisions they need to, because that's been streamlined. The hassle has been sort of removed for them. So, that's yeah. good. What used to take them a week to reconcile a month now only takes them about 10 to 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it, it really can shrink and compress that effort, which yes. means that the time is freed up to do other things, because that's basically, right. they didn't get into business to do accounting, they got into business to do contracting, and now they can do more of that and less administrivia, so that's awesome. Let's turn the corner on maybe a second story. Um, there's a, a customer of ours who is in the real estate industry, and in their case, um, they were struggling a little bit on keeping track of the paper and the receipts sides of, of things. And so, you know, as a business, it's just natural. You're going to get, you know, uh, bills in the mail. You're going to have statements. Um, you're on the road. You're buying things. And it's just a, a lot of uh, paper uh, and sometimes even digital to keep track mm -hmm. of nowadays. Um, what were we able to do for them and sort of what steps did we step them through? Well. What we were able to do is implement HubDoc, which is soon to be integrated into Xero. Yeah. And what this allows us, uh, us to do is create a central repository for all of their business receipts that they can take their digital sources, uh, 
any paper sources, they can either just scan them or even take a picture with the HubDoc mobile app. Yep. And not only does HubDoc organize all of their receipts, it'll also help enter them into zero, saving them further time and energy in recording these transactions. What are some of the things that you heard that business owner um, or the other members of the team say ne after the fact uh, once they started using HubDoc? Well, they were certainly glad to no longer have to keep all of their receipts in envelopes. So yeah. It's something I've seen many times, um, different envelopes, one for any business meals, one for supplies. Yep. That and they don't have to worry about losing any receipts on the road or getting it lost on a junk mail filter. Exactly. Yeah, because it's very typical for businesses, um, you know, to feel like, all right, I got to rush out to Staples, buy myself a whole bunch of manila envelopes, get my little labels out, and have a <laughs> file drawer full of paper, which certainly was something maybe that was more needed in the past. But today, there is absolutely no need to do that. And it's a lot of wasted time, effort, energy, and money, to be honest. So something like HubDoc, as like you described, it's basically a hub for all your documents to sort of come into and go out of. So whether you're going to take a picture on your smartphone mm -hmm. with a mobile app, whether you're going to forward an email purchase confirmation, whether you're going to scan in your office and sort of upload or just send other email attachments uh, from different people that are a part of the company, there's like multiple ways to get documents into the system. HubDoc's going to auto recognize dates, names, dollar amounts. It's going to folder everything for you. You don't need the labels anymore. HubDoc is doing for that digitally. And then you can then push it out to any of the different systems you use. One of the main ones obviously being the accounting system, sort of flowing that through into zero in this case. Mm -hmm. And then once it's inside zero, you can click a transaction and then instantly see the image of the receipt that's behind that transaction. So it just saves them a lot of time, effort, and energy for sure. Yes, and one of the larger benefits of it being fully cloud-based is that they have employees in three different states. So each of them can take pictures of their receipts and they'll have instant access to the actual images of those receipts and then... Right. Yeah, in the past, it would be something yeah. like sticking it in a FedEx envelope or sticking in the Postal Service and waiting a few days for it to get to the main office, all that. Making a digital, especially if you have, you've got a distributed team or remote team. I mean, even if they're in the same region, yeah. uh, certainly if they're in different states, this just makes life so much easier. Or we even have another customer I'm thinking of where, you know, the bookkeeper is a remote bookkeeper. Before, maybe that person would have to be local to come in once a week or once a month or whatever it may be to reconcile the books. Now a bookkeeper can work digitally, can work remotely, seamlessly and simply to sort of keep track of, of uh, you know, the business transactions and recording things. So definitely a big change uh, for them and made their life much easier for sure. So uh, lastly, I just want to take a, uh, maybe a look at one other story, uh, a, a company in the service-based industry. They were actually uh, growing very rapidly over this past year, scaling quickly. So both revenues and, and infrastructure costs were sort of really pushing ahead. And as you might imagine, that can create a situation where there's a lot of uh, fear, you know, mm -hmm. to say, hey, you know, we're going to find ourselves waking up one day out of cash. Um, and so in their case, we were able to use one of the uh, cloud-based uh, financial projection platforms, cash flow modeling platforms that actually links in with Zero. So can you tell us a little bit more about that situation, sort of some of the pieces of what we stepped them through and what the result was? Well, I do know this customer was definitely very anxious about the future. And they were wondering if they were going to have enough money to pay for taxes, their employees, uh, rent. Mm -hmm. And through using this projection software, we we're able to analyze their accounting data from zero as, as well as the scenarios that they knew were coming. Mm -hmm. And not only did this allow us to give us accurate picture of what their cash flow is going to be, yeah. but also helped us identify when their lean months were mm -hmm. versus when their fat months for that Fat matter. months, yeah. yes. Yeah. So they could plan, all right, I need to save money for these months and these months are when I can set aside a bit of extra money or even start planning out capital investments for yeah. those 
more prosperous months. Yeah, and that's really actually a great illustration of when a cash flow projection can be especially handy if mm -hmm. there's some seasonality to a, a business where you know you're going to have some dips and you're going to have some, some mountains, so to speak. And so you can either be sitting on pins and needles and not sleeping well at night because you're like, I know I'm making a lot of money today, but you know, six months from now I know it's going to slow down and am I going to have enough? When you put a tool like this into place, you can actually know that you're going to have enough and so you don't need to be sitting on pins and needles throughout that. Right, and combining this with the ease of recording transactions through zero, we can really take a uh, business from being looking at their records in a backward sense, mm -hmm. trying to record history, to actually planning for the future. Absolutely, yeah. And that's one of the big things we emphasize with the entrepreneurs is that you want to be driving the car of your business, looking out the windshield um, down the road as opposed to just looking at your rear view mirror historically on how you perform. Certainly important to know that. Yes. Your accounting system is going to let you know that. But uh, as important, if not more important, is really what's coming next. And uh, and having this tool to couple with Zero, for instance, mm -hmm. um, because Zero does link with this cash flow platform tool. So real time actual data is coming in while the forecasted data is in there. And creating those forecasts, it takes a little time, but yeah. it's it's the tool is, is actually pretty simple to use. And once you set it up, um, the first time it's just more small tweaks here and there, but at that point you've got a pretty high degree of certainty on sort of what things are going to happen, and that makes a, a big difference too. Because uh, I know they went through hiring new employees right. this year, uh, even looking at a couple different places where the offices might be, and so you can make that decision less on a hope and a prayer and more uh, with the idea that that's going to pan out in the end. So. Absolutely. So, th those are, uh, and again, thank you to really helping these these business owners, these entrepreneurs, sort of get these tools up and running. That's part of the, one of the key things that we do here. So, if uh, something you heard here sort of piqued your interest, you want to learn more about it, uh, certainly reach out to our team. Uh, this is a core part of what we're about: is basically empowering entrepreneurs with a tech-enabled finance. It, things that weren't possible five, ten years ago are possible now, and you can really shrink efforts it takes to accomplish something, as well as add capabilities that weren't there before. Uh, not many entrepreneurs have been able to really have real live, uh, real time cash flow projection modelings, and that's a tool that's now possible. So um, we're going to provide some links along with this video to reach out for a coffee conversation to get to know us and our team to see if we're a good fit. Or if you're already a member of the Elements Circle and you want to activate some of these solutions for you, just reach on out and we'll get this uh, up and running for you right away. So. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you, Mike, for, for being with me. Thank you for having me. And we're going to go ahead and say, hey, until we see you next time, keep building financial strength for what truly matters.